Hello everybody and welcome to Bellart Wright Occult Gaming. Uh, and it's me, Bellart Wright. And uh, we're, today we're playing Disney's Brave. And uh, today what we're focusing on is we're continuing to um, head for that, uh, that final achievement we need. We're trying to get that uh, Gaelic Hero achievement. And it's the very last one. I got the rest of them yesterday. Uh, when I wasn't recording and for this uh, achievement we need to defeat the game on brave difficulty without changing it and uh, we've been doing that this whole time and uh, for those of you who don't know brave is simply the hardest difficulty in the game which ain't very hard um, we've had one choke point and that was against a golem who would kill us in two hits and uh, a bunch of annoying uh, ads who just kept spawning um, until you close their spawn portal or whatever so it was just an annoying fight uh and so uh yeah we got all the bow stuff and um the way we were able to make it this far uh with such an easy time is we um i had a plan before i started this playthrough from the stuff i learned from my normal normal mode playthrough so i'm going to share that plan i started off by upgrading dodge and uh, we, we pretty much ignored this stuff until we focused in on making ourselves stronger. And to do that, I just focus on the uh, the first charm you get, which is a uh, earth charm. And I got the charge shot, uh, which uh, when you charge R1, it summons a minion. And the minion, it summons three minions actually. When you, with the very first level, you get three minions. And when they explode, they do a lot of damage. So if you want to have a, if you want to breeze through this mode, you just want to, gonna want to invest in this. These three skills, particularly, this is gonna be a lot of damage. And so this is basically carrying us uh, to the end of the game. And to um, just to um, supplement that, we got collection range and health potions, and we level those up uh, three times. Uh, health potions give you more health uh, for it, every potion pickup you get. And then uh, this collection range is for both uh, money and health potions, and you get to you can collect things from much further away, which is very, very useful. And so after we get focused on this stuff, which is really all you need, you don't really need to upgrade anything else. Uh, I just started buying extra stuff. Uh, next thing I bought was uh, the slam attack. Uh, and then an area of effect for it so in case I get surrounded I can use my sword got the power attack just cuz uh, it is extra damage but it, you don't really need it then I got the charge shots for other elements uh, the ice charge shot is the really really the only one you need I just got these because I had the extra money after upgrading the ice charge shot but there's one enemy that's coming up on that last level that uh, you can't rely on the um, earth uh, charge shot because you got to kill him fast and hard and um because he's fire fire element so we're going to rely on this to do that because if you dilly dally on normal mode he was able to he reliably almost killed me every time on normal mode so but i'm actually glad i checked to see if i recorded this because uh i said all this before and i was not recording so that would have been a disaster so let me let me once again do that just to make sure I'm recording um, we're gonna go ahead and check so give me just a second it's important because if I make progress here I won't have it I won't have it captured so I want to make sure it's captured so we're rocking and rolling here commentary is good and we're recording so I still am not sure I haven't taken a look at the sound levels on my um, commentary. So I'm just playing through the game. It's not a very long game. And I'll, I'll edit it and take a look at it later. So uh, also, I didn't get the... Actually, I forgot to do stuff. Because last time I showed the weapons and the equipment. So I'll do that now. Uh, we got... We maxed out one tapestry, the most important one, which is the HP for uh, the co-op wisps, which I, I've never used yet, uh, and Queen Elnor and Meridia's max health. 
uh, this one is for Queen Eleanor's damage, which is already pretty good. So, uh, and then this one is kind of useless to us, but it's um, for the power attack, which I barely use so for equipment. We still have to get two swords, two bows, and one outfit. And uh, we have two levels left, so those will be where we get those at. So let's go ahead and finish up this game. And this this will be the last episode, because I don't think... Unless that last part is just ridiculous, and I just can't get past that darn fire pit. It won't be, won't be a big deal. We'll finish this in the next... Last level is pretty long, but we'll, we'll finish this in probably an hour and a half to an hour. It'll take too long. Likely just an hour, because this level is this level's really short. Alright, we maxed that out. Would be proud. Yeah, this level is really short, and I'm not wasting time collecting a bunch of stuff like I did in my first playthrough. These ships are so old and sad. Because I pretty much got everything I needed at this point. Oh yeah, this one was an actual puzzle that reset every time you got it on. Shot taller. These things are moving quick, aren't they? You got minions. You don't need to change your elements.
Borg. Oh, yeah, this one was just annoying, I remember. It's really annoying. Oh, I fell off, didn't I? Almost done.
this will actually work better as a one part video. It's a long play. Yeah, but whatever. That's this is literally an experiment, so I'm learning it all here. in the kingdom Mustang shock hunter bow What others This one's actually pretty simple too I was also confused a little bit They fight. I just shoot, and the minions fight. Hardcore. Not choke point hardcore, but it was hardcore. And I was playing sloppy too. So I didn't do it because it's big. So I just want to get a shot. I just want to get a big. So I'm sloppy. Pretty crazy in this game when it wants to. I'm not feeling so good. I'd better find a potion for my health. So that was that was that. You know, we got one level left, and this level is the absolute craziest. So we're just gonna go ahead and plow through it. Um, looks like we got everything else we need. We're just gonna go ahead and get right to it. I 
still remember what the witch told me when she gave me the spell. Then the bond torn by pride. Now I understood what she meant by pride. Mum had said I was behaving like a child, and I called her a, a beast. I never tried to understand her. I only hope it's not too late. So now this level <clears throat> is pretty crazy. Well, normal mode, it gets pretty crazy, so. I only imagine what it's gonna be like in this difficulty. Especially at last. Last bit. You've not defeated me, Mordu. Just a bit farther, and I'll have ended your curse once and for all. This is it's pretty smooth, right? That felt pretty smooth. So I think that's uh, ooh, possibly the strength of the level design. this game story is to the movie something is telling me it's super close but uh you know same imagery either that or it's a super condensed version so this is where i typically use the ice Pigs do it. The uh, the boss on this level does it. You know, if we got past that, this last part won't be that difficult. Even when we get to the hmm, hmm, I don't know, cause you gotta fight another one of those rock things. He might give me a problem. But uh, that flaming one won't give me much of a problem. I don't think. stuff. So they want to upgrade the power attack. Okay. Can't wait to you 
with my new bolt. Uh, that was the last. Last bow. And we got all the tapestries, yeah. We got all the swords. We need one more bow. One more outfit. This one, nice and simple. Very grateful for all you've done, lads. Now please, promise me you'll be careful. There's an evil in this place. And we continue it. I'd say that the achievements in this game were really easy to get. All the way. Really just just play the game and you'll get all the achievements. It's actually a really good game for achievement hunters, I'd say. Explain that puzzle, but I don't know. You'll figure it out. I'll explain it. I'll explain it. Um, so, this thing here shuffles the light sources, and you can see it once you hit it. Like, what, um, what panel that it's actually set, set on. And no, I'm doing this wrong. Okay. No, this does what I said that that did. So, this shuffles between the panels. And when you hit this, it lights up or deactivates the panel. So that's how that works. It's pretty simple and you'll eventually figure it out. So this this could be a choke point here. I don't think it will. Well the ice golems could uh give me some trouble. to the goal to run nearby it's not area of effect just to hit them Yeah, really, once you get, 
once you master how to use these means, which ain't e which ain't hard, and get your like road timer down right, this this game is like a cakewalk. I think this is the last time you can upgrade anything. There might be one more after this. No, I, th I think this is the last one. Sign leash battle ball. Yeah, that's one more outfit. Puzzle is pretty stupid. I, I hate any puzzle where it's like an infinitely spawning threat like this, especially like a boulder. It's pretty dumb. This is the I think I've got enough clues to last a lifetime. Oh, that's cool. We've been battle damaged. Epic. Oh my. Whatever will I do? Mom! I thought Sorry, you didn't Mom. change back by right now. But I guess I'm glad you haven't because I still need your help. Still need your help. Take a lot of damage. potions. That's, that's it. There's nothing else you could do um, with with the gold you pick up with the coins. So. It's, it's a little pointless. You can't go back and play the levels and uh, you can skip those puzzles like I was telling you about. to the end of the level. Ooh. I almost killed me. I'm not feeling so good. 
that's about to kill me. Crazy. I'm gonna have to do all this over again, you know. That's why I hate those enemies. They always find a way to land right on top of you. I kinda hate the enemy placement in this game anyway. Just in general, enemy placement is kind of horrible. We really mess up right now. It's possible. finale. Let's get on with it. Let's get our achievement. Oh, sorry, Mom. I just our cheap, meaningless I just achievement. I see that now. More do. More do. magic spell. Pride, selfishness, and anger. Those are the things that created Mordu. It's what's kept him alive for centuries. But that means I have to fight him on my own. Not just for mum or the boys, or even for our kingdom. I have to do it for myself. I have to Mordu it for myself. Mount. <laughs> Mountain Mordu. More Mountain Dew. Okay, so this this does get annoying. Um, it's okay though. Just to farm gold from these enemies. Damn pig, man. This damn stupid gold. Damn pig. Hey, they are far too mobile. Yeah, this, this battle is actually going to be a problem. Uh, this is not as good for this first part. Trader. 
real weed and bastards. Hitting him by destroying the pillars. I didn't notice that before. Moment of truth, right here. This is the other choke point. I, I already know I'm about to die right here because I don't got enough health to do this part. They're not dropping potions. They're not dropping those assholes though. Look at this. Look at this. Can't even move. Kill me. I almost had him too. It's just it's too much to dodge. Luckily you don't gotta do the whole fight over. This game lower, it would just be that. Oh, let me spawn. Even on normal mode, that was annoying. I didn't notice. <sighs> okay. This it's not gonna be like the golem was. Cause the golem is over here, he's gonna be like he was. This is gonna be annoying. like more than half health. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. That was more than half health from one attack. It's the highest difficulty though. The pain I inflicted upon myself. 
for achievements that don't really matter. Remember that when I when you hear me complain. Remember all of this. This was just, oh, this was just a uh, freebie. They gave this to apologize for my ass fight. I mean, I could, I could see myself getting killed in this part, though. Killed all the annoying. He still has like all his health, but done virtually no damage.
ridiculous. Yeah, you gotta keep moving for this part. Hit you with that big bang attack and it's over. Honestly, this part shouldn't be this this difficult, but um, yeah, he's he's doing a lot of damage compared to the mode. I think you're better off just running through it. <clears throat> Ooh, unless you take a fucking... Unless you take one of those to the face. I'm probably gonna take two before I even get to them. You really shouldn't be able to throw those at you while you're climbing. hit me with that. The splash damage from that actually hit me. Oh man. Getting depressed thinking about this stupid fight. Thinking about how I'm gonna stay up there and survive while he's... He can kill me in two hits while enemies are constantly spawning around me. He can hit you from anywhere with that rock. Like you can be directly under him. You can just, you can just do that. Like he can hit you at improbable angles. This is the choke point. I thought it was that flaming damn pig, but this is the choke point.
two goals. Look at that. on them are so limited though. Hit him. Can't hit me, but I can hit him. Oh, I love it. Oh, exploits, exploitations. I love it. all day I do things the safe way but that's it everybody that's uh that's the achievement right there all that was keeping Lord Drew alive was his curse his anger and dark I feel so cheap With the last of oh my god I feel so cheap more do vanish so into the wind oh. his cursed soul released no there are no wee wishes I'm sorry there are no that small way. battles I have no honor but the journey was worth it I, defeated I don't deserve this Disney ending. I stopped his wicked blight, and I restored the kingdom. But even more than that, I learned there are bonds that should not be so easily torn apart. Not so much I'm happiness. Merida, I don't deserve I'm it. I'm still my father's oh. daughter, but I understand now that I'm a mother's daughter as well. Bravery, battle, adventure, they're nothing without sacrifice, <sighs> duty, and responsibility. It's a lesson that served me well as... The future queen Man. of Dumbrock. 
but that's a story for another time. All right, a couple things. I got the achievement. Okay. I want to watch this movie now, so I'm, I am interested. So the game did a good job in uh, getting me interested. The gameplay was good enough to where I just want to kind of, you know, kind of keep keep going with this uh, property or whatever. But uh, yeah, that was disgusting. That was uh, I had to cheese a Disney Pixar game. I had to re resort to cheese in order to to beat this thing on the hardest difficulty. And that doesn't feel good. That golem was just ridiculous. And the, the ads, you, you saw how long they were responding for. And his two hits and his health. It was BS, but yeah, I cheesed it out. But uh, another thing is, uh, this is actually like my first kind of, even though this was a short game, this is my first long form commentary uh, gameplay video. So I just wanted to, uh, kind of just talk about a few things I guess um the first of which is uh this is my first time getting to talk about it is why I called the channel Bell Art Right Occult Gaming so before the the channel was just simply Bell Art Right uh the name of uh my online persona for um because I'm, I'm also an indie author and I release books under that pen name but that's a different story uh Occult gaming is basically uh, any game that has uh, what I would what I would say is occult um, like imagery or themes or anything like that. Like this, even though it's Disney, uh, some of the imagery is like occult imagery, imagery like uh, the Ouroboros. Um, I would say that's occult imagery, even though it's, uh, I don't know if it's, uh, Gaelic or Celtic or I don't, I'm not cultured enough to know the difference between those and where that comes from. But that's what I'm interested in. I'm interested in, uh, history and, uh, mythology and, uh, occult things. And, um, yeah, I just, I like to play, play things that make me think about history and mysteries and things like that so that's where that comes from and I'm uh, not as well read in these realms as I want to be so I've been taking it upon myself to read more stuff uh, featuring occult featuring the occult and uh, mythology and history and stuff like that so eventually I know what I'm talking about when I talk about this stuff but that stuff fascinates me. Uh, the occult, the esoteric, um, all that stuff, everything. All, all of the history of the world interests me. And the occult is typically looked at as sort of a, sort of a, like an underground thing or a, or a bad thing. And I just want to like know about a lot of this stuff. So I'll be able to explain this a lot better. I'll probably make a video about what this channel is about and what can you, what you can expect from it in the future. But uh, for now, yeah, we just got this this silly achievement, and uh, we got all a thousand achievements for this game now. And uh, yeah, so so this this might be something I might play again, just out of boredom. Um, but I thoroughly enjoyed it thoroughly enjoyed it and I'm very surprised and I'm glad that they offered it for Xbox Xbox Live Games for Gold this month because I would have never played it otherwise and uh yeah so good job Xbox um Xbox also got me into Dark Souls because Dark Souls was up there for Games for Gold I believe a couple years back and if it wasn't for that you know it, a lot of things would have changed in my life to be honest but uh, yeah, thanks for joining me and uh, watch me play this game and get frustrated with it. And uh, I hope that this playthrough was actually helpful to helping you get all a thousand achievements. Even though I got the other 43 achievements off screen, off camera, 
uh, but they're easy anyway. You, you just play the game and do some basic exploring, you can find those, but this was the hardest one, and I hope you were able to maybe use my strategy to help you achieve it. Um, but yeah, pick pick this up. Um, I believe it's available at least until the 15th of this month. Uh, this, this is pretty fun, man. It's pretty fun. Bink. Bink is who made this. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely check out the game studio that made this. But um, again, thanks for um, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for checking me out. And uh, you guys have a good one. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. We'll have some some stuff for the channel. And uh, look look for the review for this too. I'm gonna post that on my blog, uh, Belart Belart's Corner. Dot blogspot. Dot com. So look look forward to that. I'll have the link on this video and uh yeah thank you guys and uh have a good weekend have a good